We can't even do Harvest Fest because we have no damn friends or family. So lonely. We so lonely. <laughs> Hey angels, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video on my channel today. I bring a new LP. So I have been talking about this. If you guys don't watch my previous LPs or just channel in general, um, I've been thinking of doing a new LP. So first, if you are new here and you don't know me, my name is Angel and uh, I do LPs. I play Sims on here and welcome um before we even get started uh i'm still doing like some type of planning going on with everything so first off with um my other two lps young and homeless and single father those are automatically on hold i think i mentioned that before but yeah those two lps are on hold mainly because a uh, single father is so out of order and out of place and i need to do a lot of things with that and i might just end it because i don't know i think i'm gonna just start over with that like honestly i'm not sure yet and then with young and homeless um i kind of got a little bored with it so until i gain motivation or do some changes with that then i'll um I'll fix it but here we have a new LP and I titled it Life of Mayumi um so our main character is Mayumi and this is her and how she looks she looks sad right about now because her story is just sobbing like ugh so I'm still kind of working on the title I'm not sure if I want to keep this title if you guys have some suggestions then I'll gladly take them but um, this is our character Mayumi Reynosa and she her race is Blasian so her mother is Asian and her dad is black and um, to get into the backstory of her it's a lot it's definitely you know <laughs> a lot but I'm gonna just you know get into it so here is Mayumi Reynosa that is her name uh and then her traits are animal enthusiasts so these sims are obsessed with animals and will seek their company often they will have an easier time caring for animals and getting closer to them so she wants to be a veterinarian and she really loves animals she loves taking care of them and i feel like she will just be obsessed with you know animals in general <laughs> so yeah she really wants to be a vet and she has grew up around animals a lot. Uh, she's also neat, so these sims become happy and have fun when performing household chores, can have a cleaning frenzy, and become really uncomfortable in dirty surroundings. So she always grew up with a lot of, you know, neat things. And she's also a bro, so she can bro, bro hug other bros and be confident from watching sports. And she has a spa membership because of her wellness, I mean, her aspiration. So she wants inner peace from everything that has been happening in her life. She wants inner peace and she wants to just maintain inner peace. So I'm going to show you her family and the backstory of them. So um, this is her mom, Emma Reynosa, and I'm going to show you her profile. So she is hot-headed, a perfectionist, and neat. She is a stay-at-home mom. And... um. She does have a sentiment about Mayumi. Um, this sentiment, it says, Emma feels wrong by Mayumi and being around her will remind Emma of that pain. So she has a bad relationship with her mother, with her mother because, well, first, Mayumi has always been treated differently from uh, her other sibling and from her friends. She's always been betrayed. And, like, nothing has ever really went good in her life. So, Mayumi stepped up. She didn't, like, be punked down or get talked down. She stepped up and told her mother what she was doing. And um, her mother is very, like, sensitive, I would say. But also, she is a hothead. 
So her mother basically just felt like, oh my God, why would you do this? Why would you say this? She's one of those type of people. Like, you know what you did and you want to try to play all sad and stuff. No, girl. But this is her father, Luke Reynosa, and he is mean, lazy, and materialistic. And he is also a stay-at-home dad as well. So he has a... um. Mayumi has a grudge uh, against Luke. It says it's hard to forget or forgive the past, which may make being around Luke feel very unpleasant for Mayumi. Um, she has a grudge against him, mainly because her dad is like the type of person who would literally, as soon as you piss him off, he will either attack you or kick you out or either argue with you, you know? Like, boy, you doing too much. <laughs> but when uh, Mayumi started to put her foot down with him, he didn't have that. Mayumi ended up telling her dad the same thing that she told her mom. Like, you know, y'all not finna treat me like this. Y'all gonna treat me like y'all actually are some good parents, you know? Like, you're not gonna treat me differently. And you're not gonna just make me feel like I'm the bad person. So her dad ended up whacking her in the head, like, literally. And Mayumi fell, and she hit her head, and it gave her a scar on her head. I'll show you guys later. But um, uh, Mayumi has a younger brother, and this is him. His name is Mori Reynosa, and we love our brother. He's the best thing that has ever happened to us. You know, he he's very good. Um, this is our so-called best friend. Her name is Chanel Thompson, and she is self-absorbed, ambitious, and non-committal. I think that's how you pronounce it. So, they had a deep connection because they were definitely best friends, and now they are furious. So, it says, just the sight of Chanel gets on Mayumi's nerves these days. Like, how dare Chanel show her face? Um... Okay, so first off, after the whole situation with Mayumi's family, all she really wanted was to be loved, uh, have this special attention from them, but instead she got it from someone else. So Mayumi is a teenager, but it says she's a young adult for Xbox reasons. <laughs> but she did find this love and attention from someone else, and his name is Rodney. And Rodney is her boyfriend basically uh he is mean a snob and he hates children so they have broken up and it says uh she can't quite shake some resentment towards rodney about how their romantic relationship has ended and it might feel unpleasant to be around him for a while so um she ended up getting pregnant by rodney you know she felt all of this love all of this attention that she have always wanted from her parents and she got it from him he made her feel all of this special you know special attention and stuff and they ended up doing it and she got pregnant and she was like really happy about it she thought that she could be a better parent than her parents was so she was so happy about the pregnancy even though she was young well even though she is young <laughs> she was very happy she actually thought that her life could turn around and actually be, you know, better. She thought she could be really happy, but then things had changed. <laughs> Ronnie doesn't like kids, and he didn't want a kid. So he told her that, and she was like, wait, what? Are you serious? And stuff like that. And he was like, either get an abortion or I'm just going to bounce because you know how I feel about kids. And I don't want a child. But Mayumi, she was so happy about this pregnancy. She really thought a baby would bring her joy and be possibly one of the only family that she can really have, you know. So she ended up telling him, just give her time to think about it because she was like, she really loved Rodney and she was actually thinking of having an abortion. So she told him to th uh, that she wants to think about it. He gave her time, and during this time, he ended up sleeping with Chanel, her best friend, which leads to cheating. So it says she cannot believe Rodney would do 
this to their relationship, just the sight of him will remind Ray Yumi that he betrayed her trust and, you know, cheated on her. Mayumi ended up finding out, I just realized I said Rayumi, but she ended up finding out that her best friend slept with her boyfriend and she was upset. They didn't fight because Mayumi is pregnant and she didn't want to risk losing the baby. So Mayumi cut that whole friendship off and she broke up with Rodney. She actually thought Rodney would give her time to think about this big decision and as soon as she found out about him sleeping with her best friend, she said, you know what, that is done. We're done. Um, I'm going to keep this baby. If you don't want to be here, you don't have to be here. If you want to be with her, you can. And that was that. They both had a grudge against each other. And yeah, so <laughs> this is Mayumi in her life. And we're just going to play it out and see how it goes from there. Like. Y'all, this is, like, crazy. Um, Just as Mayumi thought her life was going to get better, she thought she was going to have a little family on her own, you know? Yeah, and then now she has breakup blues and stuff. She's going to be in her second trimester in 13 hours. Huh. So, we are in a abandoned trailer type of lot. And it has three trailers with a bunch of trash. And I'm going to just show you guys how it looks. So, this is the front. It's just stuff everywhere. It makes no sense. Like, it's very much abandoned. Um, This trailer has nothing but trash in it. Like, everything is broke and stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> And then on our left side is one with uh, a lot of baby stuff in it, which we're not going to sleep in because we're not raising our baby here. But yeah, it has all of this stuff. Oof, child. And when you walk in, you know, you have this. You have basically the living kitchen room type of dining room <laughs> thing going on. Uh, our first door, I think it's the baby's room. Yes, yeah, the little toddler's room. It's... It's nice, but it ain't too nice. Ooh, child. Okay. Over here is the small bathroom and stuff. And then, you know, the big bedroom. But we're going to be sleeping in this one. So this is going to be our little abandoned trailer. Out here is just a bench. You know, you wash your clothes there. You walk in and you have your living and kitchen room and stuff so this is that and then your dining room and then here you have your small bathroom of course just full of trash and then your big bedroom so she's living in an abandoned trailer because she has no money she can't afford a motel and she definitely can't afford a house so she doesn't have a job and we need internet to <laughs> access the job her needs are good but um yeah i don't know what we're gonna do so i do want to save up for an apartment and that's what it, she's gonna do but for now she's just gonna stay at this dirty hotel girl i know it's stuff everywhere i don't like it either <laughs> But right now, our goal is to save up for an apartment because we're not raising our baby here. Like, definitely not. I don't know who this is, but yeah, these are all the people she know. And yeah, so she is a teenager, but um, she is, she's a young adult for, you know, pregnancy Xbox reasons. <laughs> uh, if you don't know, uh, console, they can't have... Uh, you know teens be pregnant but she has a bike in her inventory and this is her brother's bike it was 80 simoleons we gonna keep it but her brother gave her this little flower and you can eat it what the okay she he gave us this flower and he gave us his bike because he want us to be careful and have something to remember him by so we're gonna keep that it's so cute and look at her bump it's so small but this is mayumi and how she looks from up close she's so pretty and she does have she wears these same boots and she has not a lot of clothes 
Um, she wears the, some of the same clothes, just like, you know, put it together with different outfits. But yeah, this is where we're going to be living so far. And it is one in the morning. So, um, as of now, we're just going to try to make money and save up for an apartment and stuff. I do want to go out, though, and do some type of, like, collecting or just make a little bit of money for now. Just so we can start off with something. I am going to get for a job, so we're probably going to go somewhere to get internet. So we can um, get her a little part-time job. Because, yeah. But I'm going to meet you guys once we're at a location. Okay, so we had a, um, <clears throat> a Willow Creek library. And um, we're going to go to get a job because we have internet now. So I'm, I'm going to get her a part-time job because first we're gonna get a job that she will have as a teenager and we're not gonna get a full time because we're not gonna do that so we have lots of options here so this is 33 45 an hour okay um and i also want to get a good schedule i like the retail and babysitter but I want her to work more days so she can make more money. So I think I'm going to have her do retail. Because they make 33 an hour. She's off Sundays and Mondays. So she has the option to do 9 to 1 or a 6 to 10. I'm leaning more to the morning shift. Because I don't want her working at night. Because we can do a lot of things at night. And baby girl needs her sleep. So we're going to do this one. Okay, she's a shelf shelf <laughs> stalker at this company she starts friday at 9 a.m okay we got ourselves our job or whatever so her knees are still good i guess we can just hang around here for a while so we can go oh y'all i didn't realize it was two in the morning y'all why the library open at 2 a.m <laughs> i was like why is it no one here um i guess we can just like go on the computer or something and like bring our fun up yeah so let's sit here and then i don't know play some games on the computer um girl go ahead play some sims forever yeah so this is mayumi's life and <laughs> it's it's definitely a lot like it's it's a lot but um her goal is to be a vet she's always wanted to take care of animals when she got older because she really loves animals like definitely <laughs> like honestly her first child would have been an animal so it says she starts in two days but friday is tomorrow and that means she has to work in a couple hours so she probably is not gonna go tomorrow i'm not sure Oh, she's cold. Yeah, we're probably going to have this baby quick. Because three some days ain't that ain't that much. Yeah, sure. She likes video gaming. Um, We're going to go back home. And then I'll meet you guys once. Actually, we could do some collecting now that I think about it. Um, See, look. Frogs and, and plants. Can she collect this? No, she cannot. She can't collect this, though. What is this? Oh, you can gather water? That is so cool. Y'all never play with off the grid or none of that. But that's so cool how you can gather your own water. I mean, it probably makes sense to you since you can't pay for, like, you know, your water bill. But look, look at her little bump. And this is kind of what I meant by, like, she wears the same clothes. I'll show you guys later when she changes to, like, her sleepwear or something. But it's like, she'll have the same clothes, but put them with different clothes that she has. If that makes sense. I don't know. I, I can't really explain it. <laughs> like, she has the same clothes, but she rearranged them with different clothes that she has. Oh, we can't do it again? Okay, I guess that's fine. 
Girl, won't you tense about? Tensed. <laughs> tense about. Okay, I don't know why I said she's a romantic. I hate when my sims do that. They just get random traits. Let's dig this up. But she's not a romantic sim. I don't know why I said that. Girl, let's see if we can find some more stuff. I never, like, I don't think I ever, like, searched this area before. Or am I tripping? Because I don't remember. Can we collect some more water? No? Okay. Um, what's over here? Okay, that's nothing. We need some more collectibles. Oh, there we go. Mm. Oh, wait, let's dig for treasure, actually. Go ahead and dig for treasure. We probably should have looked over here some more. It's cute how she grab her little bike and then go all the way over there. That's so cute. Um, but let's see if it was some stuff over here that we probably missed. See? Yep, there we go. Actually, I'm going to have her uh, teleport over here. And then dig this up. And, okay. Y'all, these flowers. Okay, girl, you need to stop being damn tense. You're not romantic. Can we collect the water? Or some Oh, frogs. There we go. There we go. Um, is this? No. Oh, we can gather the water from the little fishing thingy. That's nice. <laughs> and this bike it was so nice of our brother to give us this bike he's like his sis you can have this and take this flower as well that was so cute but go ahead and catch that frog girl and then we're gonna gather this water for ourselves and look at her face <laughs> Oh, yeah, this is the scar that's on her head. Oh, let me get a picture. Hold on. She is so pretty, even though she mad right now. <laughs> Girl, it's okay. My bad, I'm trying to get a good angle. But yeah, this is the scar that her dad gave her right on her top of the head. And she is getting sleepy, but it's okay. I'm trying to get these pictures in because thumbnails. <laughs> okay, so she gathered this water. Is there anything else? You can't go fishing in extreme cold. Oh, it's freezing outside, but it's sunny. Oh, frog. It's frogs everywhere. Okay, is there anything else that we can collect? Oh, right here. Go ahead and dig that up once you're done. Y'all, we finna turn Mayumi's life around. She's gonna be happy. Whether it's with the baby or not, whether it's with a family or not, whether it's with some friends or not, she's gonna be happy and we gonna make her happy. Cause all her life she felt like she could never be happy. And she does have a friend group. She has three other friends. Oh, we can't even do Harvest Fest cause we have no damn friends or family child <laughs> we so lonely we so lonely <laughs> but uh yeah we can't even um what am i talking about i meant to say she does have a friend group of three right before she met chanel um that she used to hang around with i'll show you guys in the next part her three friends oh she eight hours girl <laughs> moving too fast for me oh can we yes we can yes we can go ahead and get this frog we found so many frogs oh let's gather some more water because it's there i'm going ahead and dig that up can we collect this too we sure can yes yes blessed i don't think we can gather the water twice so Come on, girl. Over here biking everywhere. Which is so cute. But I'm going to show you her three friends in the next part. 
um and hopefully you know they can help us out a little bit you know i do want her to do this on her own but at the same time she doesn't have a lot of people so yeah but once she has this baby i'm gonna definitely age her back down to a teen because she is a teenager my girl walking like she still got this swag look at her go ahead um i think this is it though did we gather this water okay we did um i think this is it i feel like we kind of collected everything and if we didn't that mean yep it didn't grow yet um nope we missed one so i think this is the last thing what's over here okay okay who's this Miss Nancy. I am pretty sure this is everything. <clears throat> and if it isn't, then plants haven't grown yet. So, once she's done with this, we can go back home. Or back to the abandoned lot. <laughs> uh, y'all. <laughs> Okay, girl, collect it, and then we're going to be on our way. So, I'm going to see you guys once we're back at the trailer. So, we are back here, and um, we're going to go back to our spot. So, come over here. She has to pee, and she's tired. I'll try how the fence is broke. Oh, y'all, this place is just horrible. We're definitely not raising our child here. We're just staying here to be better for our child, you know? Because we have no else to go. Why does we use it since no one else is? Use elbow grease. What the hell? I've never seen that. Girl, go ahead and use the bathroom. And then we're going to carry our butts to bed. Let's look at the stuff she got. I was going to say, girl, you better get at least five frogs. Four is fine. So, we do have some onions and stuff. Some of these frogs. Uh, whatever this is. And then some capsules. Okay. Um, I'm going to breed this one with the eggplant frog. And we got another one. Okay. So, we're going to sell this stuff. Um, we're going to sell one of those, one of each. And then we're going to sell this, the onions. I do want to keep those flowers. And we can sell the capsules. And boom, bada, bam. We got 320. But yeah, this is what I meant by she keeps the same clothes, but like put them with a different like type of clothing piece, if that makes sense. I don't know if it does, but I'm going to fast forward into the morning, so I'll see you guys once she's up. So, May has finally woken up, and oh, child, she is not feeling good. She has morning sickness, and she's in her second trimester. Oh, child, your bump. Huge. Oh, my God. I think it's the sweater. I'm pretty sure it's the sweater. Cause ain't no way she go from flatty to bumpy <laughs> but um i'm gonna have her use the bathroom she's gonna take her a little shower it won't be the best but it's fine and she brought her toothbrush so she's gonna brush her teeth and i don't know about this harvest fest stuff we might just have to not do it because we have no one to spend with and we have no food or nothing oh she's nauseous those stomach isn't feeling so good filthy surroundings and she's hungry it's okay i know we gonna we gonna do better okay you're saying that it's stuff everywhere child Oof. Oof. oh she feel like she finna throw up girl i would throw up too if i was here this ain't it uh-uh it's definitely in it. Okay, yeah, look, her bump, it was definitely that sweater. 
sweater <laughs> that sweater her bump is wasn't that huge it's so cute oh my gosh okay but we're gonna go in the fridge and try to find something to eat um we can just say she brought something like from home like stole something we're gonna say she stole some applesauce I'm well, not stolen, her brother gave us some um, with the flower and then the bike. So he gave us a little going away present. He gave us some applesauce or whatever. You can use elbow grease for this too. Child, what the hell is elbow grease? Oh my god, the cat! It's Mayor that we've seen in a single father. Girl, go get a cat. Um, Akasha's introduction. I want it. I want to get a kit, and she loves animals. I think I'm going to give her a cat like, instead of a puppy. Because I don't know, I don't really play with cats. I'm not saying I don't like them, but I just never have them in an LP, you know? But wake up. Wake up, Mayor. That's a cute name, Mayor Whiskers. That's so cute. We're trying to give you a cautious introduction. He's so cute. This his little top hat. Oh, he's hungry. Ain't it like a food bowl over here somewhere? Okay, child, because y'all just standing here. Okay, I think I got to reset them because, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Now give him a cautious introduction, please. Okay, there you go. There you go. Oh, yeah, it's a food bowl right there. We can uh, feed him. Oh, it's another cat. Let's give that one a cautious introduction, too. This one's cute. Damn, we're already acquaintances. Oh, my God. Our friendship right went high. So, we love this cat. Okay. I do want to fill this bowl so they can come and eat. Oh, that is so cute. The man has a little top hat and bow tie. That is so... Oh, child, we don't like this one. Uh-uh. Okay, that's fine. We don't like you too, then. Uh, <laughs> boy. Okay, no, I want them to come back so they can come and eat from the bowl. Is he going to come eat the bowl? Oh, I can't even call him. Oh, I probably should have just gave him a treat instead of. Okay, you know what? It's fine. Ciao. Okay, but anyways, this episode is long. So I'm going to end it here. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, angels.